is Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with Dave. And Dave had a really interesting case, and uh, I wanted to kind of share some of the, the piece parts. Dave came in with, uh, with blood sugar that kept going up, 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 and up, and up. And you were doing, you were exercising. Dave is at a, a healthy weight. So he had all these signs of someone who uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be a diabetic, type 2 diabetic. Um, and even though he was doing everything to kind of counteract the diabetes, he was still getting worse. And sometimes what this can be is autoimmunity against the pancreas. It's known as type 1.5 diabetes, where it's an adult onset autoimmunity against the pancreas. And when you see a skinny diabetic and a diabetic that's doing all the right stuff or some of the right stuff, but they're still getting worse, you may think the reason why they're getting worse is because their pancreas is just getting damaged. So no matter what they do, they don't get any better. Uh, and that's kind of how David came in. Uh, and so, We've gone through the initial part of our, our process, which has been changing the diet, and that's gone really well so far, right? Mm-hmm, yep, um, paleo diet. It's been, uh, which you're loving. It's been right? pretty easy to do. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I eat out almost every day for lunch uh, at my office, right. and uh, salads with steak or salmon or fish or uh, chicken, and uh, just eating better. I mean, if you feel better, I even have uh, a hamburger with lettuce wrap, yeah, bacon delicious. on it, sure, 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 and it tastes great. It's one of my there's, favorites too. <laughs> there's no problem with it at all, and yeah. you you don't feel stuffed after it. And I feel like I, uh, you know, I'm not ready for a nap afterwards. Yeah, it's always nice, right? Yeah. And your your blood sugar had you've come off all of your medications. Yeah. And your blood sugar has gotten better than it was before, significantly right. better. Right. Right. And you before. told me that uh, when I would change the diet and do the protein. Uh, vitamins and stuff that we we're doing that you said oh you're it's going to go down you're going to have to come off medication and i didn't believe you at first <laughs> and i was like well i didn't know what he was talking about sure. but then all of a sudden my blood sugar started dropping right and i stopped taking the medication because then it was really making it worse sure and now my average you know i come home in the middle of the day i'm at 104 or 114 right. and i used to be when they first discovered this i was 347 yeah so it was pretty serious. Yeah, you were and high. then I was holding in the 200s, 220s, mm-hmm. 210 for a really long time. And the uh, diabetes center that my regular doctor sent me to <laughs> told me that I can still have 60 to 70 carbs per meal. Per meal. And it was, per meal. It was crazy. Um, you're the first one that said, that's nuts. Yeah. And so when we started with the paleo, everything shot back down. It was just amazing. And now you're telling me about uh, what we discovered today. Yeah, so here, here, so so far he's done amazing with just some basic common sense stuff, curtail your carbon intake, and that can have a major impact on, on blood sugar regulation. The other thing that he had remarked was he would notice when he drank wine, his blood sugar would get better. Good red wine. R- good, a good red <laughs> wine, not the box wine. Cabernet. <laughs> um, now, we just found Epstein-Barr virus reactivation with David, which is known to fuel many forms of autoimmunity. Now, here's how this all connects, and here's what's really interesting about this whole thing. Uh, the, one of the ways that Epstein-Barr virus can invade the immune system is by essentially blunting vitamin D. It can, it can block vitamin D specifically. It can, it can uh, blunt the vitamin D receptor. So to evade your immune system, Epstein-Barr virus shuts down vitamin D. Resveratrol, which is found as an antioxidant found in wine, has been shown to stop that from happening. So it, it can actually help the body overcome the virus by not allowing the virus to shut down vitamin D. So now that we see Epstein-Barr virus, it connects all the dots, meaning that the wine was giving you that punch of resveratrol. That resveratrol, we can speculate, again, we don't know for sure, was not allowing the Epstein-Barr virus to shut down vitamin D, and therefore your immune system was stronger, stopped the pancreatic inflammation, and allowed your blood sugar to normalize. Right, to come way down. So, really, really cool kind of finding. A little bit of speculation factored in there, because we, we can't say any of those things for absolute sure, but gosh, all the writing is on the wall there, and all the piece parts fit. So. So far, you've done great. We're starting in on a program now to do some natural antivirals, and um, maybe we'll shoot a, another video if anything huge or significant happens. But the discussion we just had was, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot more blood sugar dropping in the future, because I, I think we've already got the blood sugar significantly lower than it was before. 
but what the virus will do, or treating the virus will do, will, will help to stop any further damage to the pancreas going forward. Um, so thank you so much for, for talking with us. Yeah, thank you. And a really, really cool case where all these things, the resveratrol, the epstein virus, and the vitamin D all kind of came together. This means I can't get a prescription for silver oak anymore, right? <laughs> we could try. We could give it a shot. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.